So this is what happens when you uh, lose your timing in a interference engine. Uh, several years ago I was... Let me see if I can turn this to get some more light. Just finally got around to, to looking at this. But several years ago I was sitting in the driveway about to pull out on the street and a idler pulley fell off the timing belt. The bearings fell out of the idler pulley. The timing belt fell off and the motor died. So this is turning at 800 RPMs and it deformed the stem, the valve stem, the stem of the valve that much uh, especially on, on this one which would be uh, the number one exhaust valve and then the number four exhaust valve are the worst. Two and Three aren't quite as bad. It looks like the intakes are, all the intake valves are fairly normal, but uh, yeah, so make sure your timing never becomes untimed when you got an interference engine, like on this little Porsche 944. Those are some big old, big old cylinders on that thing. Pretty surprised by how simple this all comes apart but uh, yeah so now I gotta just decide if I'm gonna scrap it out or try to redo those valves